Hi, my name is Ning and this is my father, Chong. We are both co-founders of The Culture Story, a private art space based in Singapore. We launched The Culture Story in June 2017 and essentially it serves three functions for us. Um, it's a gallery space, it's an office and also storage for our personal art collection. We also see it as an alternative space where we can organise exhibitions, talks, private events. Uh, where we can bring like-minded people together, artists, collectors, curators, overseas friends, and also welcome newcomers to the arts to enjoy the visual arts uh, here in Singapore. We hope that our friends, both old and new, will come here to get to know each other, and of course, to also appreciate the art here, so that people will realise that their lives are not just being economic units. There is more to life. And I think art is a very important part of our lives. I like to share the diversity and the authenticity of uh, my collection and to show how the collection is uh, acquired uh, over the years. My art collection is actually a personal journey. It's somewhat autobiographical. It reminds me of all the trips that I make around the world, either visiting museums, art fairs, or artist studios. This is the first new painting that I bought. I bought it in 1986 when the family went for a holiday in St. Ives in Cornwall. This painting reminds me of my daughter. At that time, she was a toddler. And I imagined her to be growing up into a lovely, carefree, wistful lady. So it was very emotional and I bought it on the spot, carried it home and it has been with us ever since. This artwork is done by a very senior artist in Singapore, Wong Ki. He went to the US when he was very young and he was very much influenced by American abstract expressionism. It's called the Pink Lady. It was a work which we acquired more than 10 years ago. It is very much influenced by William de Kooning, who painted a Pink Lady in 1948. This particular piece was shown in an exhibition in Beijing during the Singapore-China Cultural Exchange program in 2010 and we were very glad to have acquired this from the artist. These two artworks are very interesting. Further away from me is painted by Mr. Lim Yu Kwan. He was the principal of NAFA the school that produces a lot of our artists in Singapore. The one nearer to me is painted by Mr. Chua Mia Ti, a very senior artist who is 88 years old. And there is a lot of speculation as to whether these two works were created at the same time in some classroom in Nafa because one of the paintings is dated 1975 and this one was dated 1974. The similarity of the model, the way they sit and so on, does point to the fact that perhaps this was a classroom where artists, teachers and painters were able to gather to practice their art. So it represents an important documentation, perhaps, of art education through the ages in Singapore. This artwork is by Ting Yi Chong, a Singapore artist who spent a lot of time in Bali. His works were mostly collected by European collectors who were either on holiday in Bali or who were living there. We bought this artwork at an auction in Singapore against some very fierce competition. Ning, my daughter, bought it and I think we were so glad that we paid the market price. And it's been with our collection now for 
many years. Amongst his nudes in oil, uh, I think this one was quite exceptional. So it attracted a lot of interest. And looking back, I think amongst all the oil paintings that he has done, we really love this piece. And now we can enjoy it for a long, long time. Well, we would like to say that uh, art and art appreciation happens in different corners of the world. And here at The Culture Story, we feel that creativity, ideas, connectivity uh, could be better fostered. And uh, once COVID uh, ends, uh, we hope to resume a lot of the activities that we have organised and have developed uh, in the past. Well, subject to developments of the COVID situation globally, um, we hope to invite Futura back to Singapore again for a second project uh, in collaboration with The Culture Story. Um, we're not sure what uh, will become of this, but we hope it will come to fruition this year or if not next year. Um, and we also hope that uh, we can organise more talks um, exhibitions and maybe smaller gatherings at the space but we're also taking a very cautious stance um, just trying to see where, where things develop uh, in terms of um, you know social distancing and all these measures uh, and we believe that um, art offers um, comfort and solace in these difficult times for everyone. <laughs>